Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So today in this video, we will see how to 3 star some of the popular TH11 war bases. I am going to show you the easiest TH11 attack strategies to 3 star judo and sum its TH11 bases in this one. So without wasting any time. Let's crush those bases. This is judo's TH11 war base that he uploaded recently. We will attack this base with TH11 hybrid strategy. This is the same army composition that I used in my TH11 hybrid attack strategy video. Use sneaky goblin and a baby dragon to push the queen into eagle artillery. Don't get panicked if she goes away from eagle. You can use another wall breaker to get her inside that compartment. But if you follow what I did here, it will not happen. Once she goes inside, use another wall breaker to open up that compartment for her. After taking down Eagle, use couple of hogs to trigger CC troops. That will also trigger the tornado trap. Use another hog rider to make sure. Full CC is triggered. Freezing Headhunter and Poison on Super Minions with Raged Queen will get you through this CC easily without losing Queen ability. This is the hardest TH11 CC to deal with. You can easily take down other CC troops without using the freeze spell. Keep using those rage spells on Queen while she was under heavy damage. Preserve her ability as long as you can. Because Queen can die through ability against the X-Bows. Once the Queen clear out that compartment, start trimming out the edge with King and SB. That will create a nice and clean pathing for hybrid. And we can start the hybrid directly on the multi. So that we don't need to use a heal spell there. Use King ability early if he doesn't go to auto ability so the miners stay centered with hogs. Notice how I used an archer and a sneaky goblin to snipe out the town hall. It is very exposed and we are taking full advantage of it. That will also secure the two stars. Our queen is on verge of going down. But it's good for us. Because the healers will shift on the main pack of troops afterwards. You can see, I am a bit off with spell and warden ability timing. You can use it much more efficiently than I did here. Always use heal spells on splash defenses so you don't lose too many troops to them. They are the main threat to our troops and vanish them in no time. As you can see, there is nothing left on this base that can stop us from getting 3 stars. This is one of Sumit 007's TH11 war base that he uploaded recently. We will attack this base with TH11 Zap Dragon attack strategy. Zapping both bottom infernos in such a way that we get some damage onto the infernos and eagle. After air defenses goes down. Deploy Electro Dragon on the elixir storage. So it will also take down town hall with its chain damage while creating a funnel. Notice how I used that loon to snipe the archer tower as it was targeting that Electro Dragon. In the meantime, use Hero Dive to create proper funnel on other side, while also taking down that air defense. Deploy Dragons afterwards. Use Early Rage and Poison Spell to quickly get through CC and those high hit point storages. Deploy Stone Slammer a bit late to go after that multi. The King will not always take it down though. The dragons are much easier to funnel compared to electro dragons and require less spell support, so always prefer them over electro. Use warden ability as soon as the dragons get into the X-Bow's range. Combine that with rage spell to get maximum value out of it. Use remaining heal spell to counter all the traps in the core. Protecting maximum troops in the core will make it easy to get through those back-end defenses. And with this many troops surviving through the core, the three star is just matter of time. You can also three star this base with hybrid, but this strategy is much more easier compared to it. The last base is Judo's TH11 trophy pushing base but many people use it as war base. 
so I will show you how to 3 star it. We will 3 star this base with Zap Witches. It is by far the easiest TH11 attack strategy. After zapping out the Infernos, two wall breakers will give access to those compartments. And that will create a clean and solid funnel for heroes and other troops. Deploy the log launcher and heroes a bit late after funneling. So that they don't walk away due to improper funnel. You can see, this is a symmetrical base. And always remember, witches works best on symmetrical bases. So whenever you see symmetrical bases, just go with witches without any doubt. To be honest, there is nothing much to do in this strategy after the initial setup. So once you got most of your troops along with heroes into the core successfully, just sit back and watch your troops crush the base. The most common mistake people make on this base is, they start the witches from bottom side because of the CC, eagle and queen. But don't fall for that trap. The early CC lure and queen will completely mess your pothing. That will end in a fail most of the time. I hope you enjoyed this video, and this TH11 popular base 3 star strategies will help you on your TH11 play. Consider subscribing for more quality guide videos and turn on the notification bell. Also hit the like button to show your support. See you in the next one.